there's never an innocent explanation for her, you know, being offered a ride home. And that's really what concerns us. Good evening, everyone. Right now at 6, a concerned mother has a warning for everyone after she says that a man tried to lure her 10-year-old daughter into his car just after she got off the bus. RTV6's Mike Pelton spoke with that mother today and is working for you tonight asking police how you can keep your kids safe. He joins us on the Northwest side. I think my husband and I just looked at each other in silence and she said, are you mad? And I'm like, I'm, I'm very angry. I am not angry at you. Erin Hall sat stunned, telling me her 10 year old daughter spoke up Monday night to say a man she didn't know drove up in a white car and offered her a ride when she got off the school bus Monday afternoon near Manning Road and Clearview Drive. You know, even someone in this day and age, you, uh, imagining that somebody had the best of intentions um, would be nearly impossible. Erin tells me she prepared for this moment, but hoped it would never happen. She often talks with her daughter about stranger danger and how to respond. The first thing we told her to move away from the vehicle uh, and it's to say no and be clear and loud, um, but to get away from the vehicle. We've, we asked her to not move in the same direction the car was driving so they couldn't follow her and she did that. She backed away from the car and that mother did file a report with Metro Police who tell me just what happened here remains under investigation. However, they do have some general tips to keep your kids safe. Metro Police suggest meeting your kids at the bus stop or having another trusted adult do so. Have your kids walk in groups and call police if anything seems off. <laughs> you have this little window of a day between getting off the bus and getting home and it's five minutes and yet it was unsafe. Erin wants other parents to look at what happened to her daughter in hopes they too have conversations with their kids. We were dealing with the heartache of, you know, what do we do moving forward to make her, they, you know, make her situation even safer. Um, but, you know, you, you can't rid the world of danger, so you have to prepare for what's out there. And Erin feels she had a plan that paid off. On the northwest side tonight, Mike Pelton, RTV6. The Metropolitan School District of Pike Township did release a statement to us in which they say the safety and security of their students is of the utmost importance and that Pike Police are working directly with IMPD on this investigation.